I'm doing a giveaway for this Vlogmas episode. <music> this vlog happy vlogmas it's vlogmas day 10 lucky number 10 so i've been out for about an hour grocery shopping i don't know if y'all can see me the sun is really beaming today y'all it's really um gonna be another nice day today it's supposed to reach the 50s but yeah i got a lot of good stuff at the grocery store today if y'all don't have an aldi's where y'all live whenever you need to go grocery shopping go to aldi's first and try to get everything that you need as far as produce just little knickknack seasonings meat because they are so affordable i only spent 50 dollars in aldi's so i feel really accomplished i got a lot of good stuff i'm trying to eat i mean i eat pretty healthy like i don't eat bad but I'm trying new recipes and new uh, foods into my little meals because I'm tired of eating the same thing. I normally make the same exact thing, but I'm trying to get a lot of nutrition. I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got at the grocery store when I get home. But I try to buy healthy things, but I try to make sure that I shop around to make sure I get the best price for like my produce and my like fruit. Well, my produce is my fruit. But yeah, like vegetables, fruit, and stuff like that. So I got a lot of good stuff for right now. I told y'all that I wasn't going to be eating out anymore. So I racked up on like chicken. I could have shrimp, but not a lot of it. So I got like one thing of shrimp because I plan on either doing a wrap with the shrimp or I'm going to make some Alfredo. And it's going to be kind of like my um, indulgent meal. The rest of this week, of vlogs are probably going to be me talking to y'all and cooking and showing y'all what I eat as a pregnant lady. And when I tell y'all, the grocery stores was a madhouse. It was a madhouse. It was like people in there with three carts of groceries, two carts of groceries. Like I was getting really irritated. I'm like, y'all, I don't got that much stuff. I'm just trying to check out. I understand y'all trying to feed y'all families at home, but I'm not trying to be in this line all day. My thing is, I could spend all day in the grocery store shopping, but when it comes to checking out and I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. And I actually went to the store hungry. So I think I just was picking up unnecessary stuff that I probably didn't need, but I'm going to eat it. So when I get home, I need to make me something to eat. It's, it's lunchtime now, it's 11.48. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make me one of my wraps. And I'm gonna show y'all, it's gonna be fancy, y'all. It's gonna be fancy. So if y'all need any meal ideas as far as like lunch, breakfast, or dinner, I got y'all this week. This is all of the stuff that I got from Aldi's alone. And I only spent $50. So I got this avocado ranch. I got some vinegar because I like to clean my chicken. And then I got some white wine vinegar for my pastas. I also bought this basil, the squeeze kind, because I don't know. I just feel like if I buy basil, it's going to get old. So I'd rather just get it in the tube and I got a little more time. Um, Got some seasonings. This is the wraps that I'm going to be doing today. It's a spinach herb. And they actually got a recipe on the back. So I'm going to be doing this. So I needed some tomatoes. I got some fresh mozzarella. I think I needed some, that's why I needed the basil. And I got garlic, I got avocado. I'm going to incorporate kale into my diet, y'all. I don't know how, I think I might just do it in a smoothie, in a salad, wish me luck, y'all. But I really want to incorporate kale. So I got like the chopped kale. 
also got some spinach. I need some spinach. I love spinach. I got cilantro. And then I end up getting some shrimp because I'm going to make some pasta. Like I told y'all, I got chicken and this. All of this came from Aldi's and it was $50. I feel like you can have a whole meal right here. Just have some noodles and some heavy whipping cream. You can make pasta. You can make a salad. I got stuff to make a wrap. So boom. That I'm going to show y'all how I make this wrap. And this is what it looks like. I kind of want to add some chicken in here or have some chicken on the side. So I want to show y'all all the ingredients I got out. Now I'm going to be modifying this recipe. So I got some chicken breast tenderloins right here that I'm going to be cooking. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the sandwich yet or eat it on the side. But this recipe just calls for like tomato and mozzarella. It's kind of like a Italian, I guess, type of wrap. But I'm going to get started. Let me set this camera down. I got some tomatoes. And these are the Roma tomatoes. That's the kind of tomatoes this recipe calls for and then i also have some fresh mozz i love fresh mozzarella cheese i don't know about anybody else but it gets me going i have this bowl right here that i'm going to be putting these ingredients in move this to the side okay i got my bowl and basically i have to marinate these tomatoes so i cut up two roma tomatoes i'm just gonna set them in here boom I think I only remember having tomatoes and mozzarella cheese one other time. It was kind of like on some like bruschetta type stuff. So I got the tomatoes in there. And it said I need three tablespoons of basil. It says on the recipe that it needs to be finely shredded. So this is going to have to work today. So I'm just going to squeeze about three of these in here. This probably be here. I feel like this is a lot. Three boom boom bam easy peasy so that's how that looks looking and then it says one clove garlic so i already have some minced garlic right here that i'm just going to use so i'm just going to go right ahead and just take some out of here right this like this amount right here throw that in there i like garlic so i might put a little bit more just a little bit but i'm gonna eyeball it so just put a little bit more. boom so this is how much garlic i'll put in there and if i need some more i guess i'll put some more in there and then it says two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil i keep olive oil on deck so i'm just going to pour it right into this little measuring spoon one I hope this is good, y'all. It looked good on the um the picture, but we'll see. Olive oil is in, and then it says salt and pepper to taste. So I got this Himalayan pink salt that I'm gonna be putting in here. That's why I said all these is a deal, y'all. You can just buy the grinder, put some salt in there. And then I'm gonna crush up some pepper, which is also in a grinder. This just makes life so much easier. I feel like Fresh cracked pepper tastes better than like the pepper that you buy already finely chopped or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this on up now. I'm going to mix this. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely enough basil because I don't... I don't see basil taking over on this recipe, but it is fresh basil on the recipe, so that's probably why it looks all green and stuff in here. But I'm sure it'll taste just as good. So make sure I cover these tomatoes up really good. So I can just sit while I cook my chicken and stuff. This is going to sit on the side. This is what it's looking like. Kind of looks like a mess to me, but like I said, it might taste good. This recipe calls for a lemon aioli but i bought this avocado ranch right here so i'm just going to use that because i didn't feel like making no lemon zest aioli so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to heat up my skillet right now because i always like to start with a very hot skillet because that's how you get your sear I got my chicken in this bowl and all I'm going to season it with is like this Creole seasoning. It's different seasonings in this alone so I really don't have to do a lot. But I am going to add some garlic salt to this. This is what it looks like. 
little garlic salt. And then just for some little spice, I'm going to add some oregano leaves just for some greenery. And that's all I'm going to put on here. I don't feel like washing my hands again, so I'm just going to use my tongs. I'm a little bougie right now. Okay, so the skillet is heating up. It's actually kind of hot. So I'm going to put a little olive oil in there. The skillet is hot. Then I'm just going to lay these right on in here. And I'm only doing three of these right now boom a little more seasoning on there so I like to see my seasoning and I'm going to cook this on each side for probably like two minutes so I'm going to show y'all how it looks once I turn it over I'm taking the form of time once you cook that middle out what is all good Okay, so I got this avocado ranch right here. Shake this up real quick. You gotta lay the sauce down first. Ooh, that's a lot. I keep thinking that it has a little hole, but it doesn't. Come on, little spoon. I'm gonna spread this on the wrap. I actually like salt, so this probably I'll probably end up adding some more. So spread that. And then it says I have to lay down some spinach. So I have some spinach right here. I like spinach, so I'm gonna probably put a good amount of tomatoes on here. Boom, boom. I'll probably have enough to make two because this is actually a recipe for two wraps. Put a smaller one on here. Tomatoes. And then it says mozzarella cheese. Put the cheese on here. Oh, this look good. This look good. I think I only want to put like three slices because these are some big slices. Cheese. And then it say wrap. Now, I think I want to put my chicken in here or at least some pieces of chicken. I'm just going to break some pieces up. And if I want to add some more, I'll add some more in there just so it's like a garnish so now i have to try to wrap this try it out this way tuck this in and then roll it like okay y'all so it's the moment of truth how this tastes i got the extra little sauce on the side just because i need some more you know i just got some water but i mean how bad can it be it's just tomatoes, so this house looking. Y'all ready? Huh. Okay. I get where it's going with the tomatoes and the cheese and um the basil. The basil already tastes. Next time I make this. I'm gonna cut down on the basil a little bit more. But it's good. I'm glad I add chicken. I love when my food just looks so healthy and green. It's good though. I have different wraps in there. Like I got this whole wheat wrap in there that I think I'm gonna do like a, I don't know, I'll probably do like buffalo chicken in those. But yeah, I definitely spiced it up my own way and it ended up coming out good. This was really simple to do. It's just really just prepping your stuff ahead of time. I got a couple of packages in the mail, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got. My hair's still on. Every month, I get these bump boxes. So this one just came a couple of days ago. I actually have another one that I haven't opened, but I'm just going to open this one today. This is like my fourth bump box. I think I might be getting two more in the mail. And it's just like a really cool mommy box. I'm assuming it goes off of how many months I am, um, depending on what they see. And so... It's a free breast pump. Redeem your offer with three easy options. But I basically get, could get a free breast pump if I follow these directions. So yeah, it smells like essential oils in here too. Oh my God. What is this? It's like a onesie. Wait. 
this is the first thing I'm gonna put. I'll say, hello, I'm new here. Oh my God, look at this, y'all. So cute. I don't know if my baby gonna ever be able, look how tiny this, it just put into perspective, like I'm going to literally have a tiny human like this. That's crazy. So I'll keep this for sure. So cute. Everything that I get for the baby, I make sure that I'm going to wash it first before I put it on the child. You know, I want them to break out. So I have, what is this? Glow 9 Organics. This is a balanced and natural foot soak. Organic white grapefruit and lavender essential oil. So this is what I'm smelling in the box. So I also sent this. I'm going to open it. Okay, I'm open it with this. Oh, yeah, it smells good. So, this is how I look. I'm going to soak my feet in this because lately, it's crazy because as of lately, my feet been hurting. Like, I've been walking miles and I really don't need to be walking like that. I mean, sometimes I go outside and I walk, but the bottom of my feet feels like it's like filled with liquid or something. So, it'll be hurting. So, I'm definitely going to be using that. They also sent this moisturizing two in one body butter and coffee scrub right here and smell this too Whew. what is this body butter and coffee okay it's coconut rum the coffee smells so strong but it don't stink but it just caught me off guard so i basically will put this on after i shower okay i'm gonna try this for real i'm gonna actually put this on my belly I'm trying to see if I if I can prevent myself from getting stretch marks, but sometimes it's just genetics. It's really nothing that you could do. So we'll see. And I got some tea. This is some peaceful pregnancy tea. Red raspberry loose leaf blend used for the duration of pregnancy. And then I have a makeup remover cloth, which I actually actually need this so that was a bump box okay i'm ripping everything i got another package i'm assuming this is probably from beauty blender Ooh. <clears throat> let me read this the fact that they write out their letters make me feel so special so we wanted to give you some space in the cutest possible way enjoy two of our favorite kits from this year's holiday collection we hope some fresh blenders and cleanser inspires you to create a gorgeous holiday look. Be sure to tag us, Rianne and Team Beauty Blender. Okay, let's see. One thing I really love about Beauty Blender is that for one, the Beauty Blender is a need and essential in the makeup process. Oh. And they cleanser A1. I need to actually get a big thing of their cleanser because I normally get like, this size cleanser from there and i use that all the way up so i got a shining star beauty blender right here can y'all see that boom three more and a cleanser also the cleanser at the bottom so i got three cleansers which is those pink things at the bottom and four beauty blenders i definitely needed some more blenders so appreciate that hey y'all and i am back so i've been filming um i actually just filmed my first um portion of my content i changed my hair as you guys can see i added some hair so it looked like i did it for a different day but i'm doing it all in one day if you guys don't know i am a mental mentor so i'm going to be doing a giveaway y'all i'm doing a giveaway for this vlogmas episode ain't y'all excited so what I'm going to be giving away, because I got a box full of minted cosmetics, y'all. A box full. Let me show y'all. Boxes full of lipsticks, lip liners, blushes. Um, was it? Lip glosses is in here. And your girl can't use it all. So what I'm going to do is do a giveaway. So in order to enter my giveaway, of course, you got to be watching this video. <laughs> you got to be following me on Instagram at anti underscore gorgeous. You have to be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and comment below what, let me think. It's going to be something that has nothing to do with this makeup, but comment. And you got to follow me. You don't have no page. <laughs> um, Javon said y'all got to follow him at, at J-Dunce. Yeah. 
J A D U N Z. Y'all gotta follow him on Twitter. So I think y'all should comment what y'all favorite holiday is. Even though it's Christmas time, it don't have to be Christmas. So comment below what y'all favorite holiday is. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at anti underscore gorgeous and like this video to enter the giveaway. I'm going to leave this giveaway open until Vlogmas Day 13. I'm going to give three days for people to enter because y'all know people are a little bit slow. And then I'm going to pick from these comments below. Make sure you guys add your, um, your Instagram. Put your Instagram name down below. And I'm going to be checking to see if you're subscribed to my channel, if you like this video, and if you're following me on Instagram. So it's just simple. And I'm going to be sending out makeup. I might be choosing two winners. You never know. But I'm going to be announcing that on the Vlogmas Day 13. Okay? So let me finish up some of this content. And I'm going to be back. Okay, so I'm pretty much done filming for the most part for tonight. So I just wanna close out this vlog and remind you guys to enter the giveaway, okay? Tell a friend. Make sure you guys are following the rules. If you guys are confused about the rules, they're gonna be posted below in the comment section. I'm gonna pin a comment and good luck, you guys. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna pick one or two winners. I have a lot of makeup that I'm actually not going to use. So I'm gonna be blessing y'all with some makeup, okay? Don't forget to put those Instagrams in the comments and follow the rules. And I'll see you guys in Vlogmas Day 11, y'all. 11? 11? So that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed.